everyone sbi results are out let me take you through the comparison what i mentioned in the video earlier today versus the actuals let me first give you an analogy of how the expenses are calculated in the banking world let's suppose the bank takes money from you on a fixed deposit and gives you six and a half percent now say the bank gives it out as a home loan with an interest of nine percent there are additional costs like employee cost 0.5 percent 0.5 percent other costs related to that loan approximately net earning on the home loan is one and a half percent for the bank now let's suppose interest rates increase now bank needs to give you six and a half percent for the fd the employee cost and the other costs have gone up because of inflation 0.65 percent and 0.85 percent if the bank was to charge same nine percent on the home loan the net earnings will become zero percent to make one and a half percent again bank will have to now charge ten and a half percent on the home loan so bank is giving one percent more to us on fds but charging one and a half percent more on the home loan to make the same percentage gain on the overall transaction which is one and a half percent with this analogy let me jump to the excel view where i'll contrast the numbers sales wise the expected number was 430 when i say 430 it is 4 lakh 30 thousand crores against previous year's number of 351 the actual was 439 189 a variance of 2%. So actual sales were higher than what I had thought. Interest expense, which is what bank incurs to raise the money, it was expected at 250. It came at 260, positive variance of 4%, which means the interest expenses were even higher than what I had thought. Other expenses beyond interest, I had thought they will be 250 again. They came out at 241, a variance of minus 4%. Other income, which is income from non-core business, expected at 150 against 123, came at 155 plus 4 percent, which means income from fees, investments, all of them were a lot higher than what I had thought. Profit before tax, I had thought 92,000, however, it came at 91,240 crores. This is lesser than even my conservative number, minus 1 percent. EPS. I had thought 78 against 62.35, it came at 75.17, direct reflection in some ways to the profit before tax, a variance of minus 4%, lesser than what I expected, dividend at 18% should have been 13.53, actual was 13.7, more or less similar. Now let's jump to the core parameters, sales went up from 351 to 439, up 25%, very healthy number for the year, employee cost. 24%. Now, this number may seem reasonable compared to 25% sales increase. However, note that the employee cost pressure came actually starting December quarter only, which means this is applicable for mostly the last six months of the financial year. So, the impact in this financial year will be a lot higher. Interest expense, this is typically the CASA cost, up 37%. This is a huge increase, nearly one third or slightly more than that increase in the cost of raising money. Interest income on the other hand was up 30%. Interest on investments, this made up for most of the problems, up 178%. This is a big plus. I talked about this in the previous video also, that income on investments may play a big role in fantastic numbers for SBI, which has happened. Other income, which is the income from fees and all, that increased 27%. That's a good number as well. Profit before tax had a jump of 21%. And EPS jumped 21% as well from 62.35 to 75.17. So overall numbers are looking great. However, the cost of doing business is increasing and income on investments is playing a big role. This may or may not happen the same way in future. Specifically on the insurance business, the revenue increased 22%, good healthy number. However, the operating expense specifically for insurance went up 24%, something which is not that great. If you have gone through Berkshire's numbers, which were released over the weekend, Berkshire is doing pretty well on the insurance servicing part. This is a good business. However, in India, most people are not able to make a lot of money from the insurance business. Now let's visit the scores. Holding company, the income on investments is fantastic. One, unfair advantage. I talked about the Yes Bank example. This is happening already. You will see it from time to time that SBI keeps on rescuing companies which are having problems, especially banks. 
I'm going to put one. I will demonstrate it yesterday that FI holding has increased. The P part was also demonstrated. Profit trend I had shown yesterday also. Let's quickly go to screener. So EPS trend 4062. This is now 75. Profit before tax 50, 75, 91. The trend is going fine at annual level. So let's put a one here. NII support, interest income has a healthy 30% jump. So I'll put one here. So overall, all opportunities are looking green. Wage hikes, let's say minus one. Casa cost is increasing as well, minus one. IT infra apps, my experience has been bad. I explained that in the previous video. Your perception, you can put minus one or zero. Same with lunch ho gaya. If your experience has been good with SBI, you can remove it. Holding size, this 178% number does ring a bell. If you looked at today's market, this number will diminish rapidly if the economy goes down a bit or maybe in a recessionary condition. So I'll put a minus one here. Insurance holding, I demonstrated expenses are increasing higher than the revenue. Limited NBFC play, I don't have detailed numbers. I can put a question mark, but I'm aware of the situation. So I'll put a minus one. Cards growth, I don't have data. So I put zero here. Geo financial, in my opinion, that will be a big problem because SBI inherently is an inefficient business while Geo will be highly efficient. So minus one here. Core business issues, we have already discussed here that the expenses are increasing significantly. The sales is also increasing, but the expenses will be difficult to control in future. When interest rates go down, employee cost, for example, cannot be reversed. So the problems for core business will continue. So mostly besides SBI cards for which I don't have the annual data right now, the parameters on threads are bad as well. Overall, my reading is that the results indicate that SBI is fairly valued or slightly overvalued only with respect to the numbers of the previous financial year. The numbers in the financial year coming up now will actually get worse and the profitability numbers will get impacted on the negative side. The profitability numbers will reduce. The PE also may fall overall for the sector based upon the future forecast. So I foresee a significant correction overall in the SBI numbers. I would probably not buy right now, but this is not an investment advice. This is my reading from the results. Do trade and invest with caution because superficially the numbers are looking fantastic. A layer deeper, there seem to be issues. Thanks for watching and happy investing. Have a great day ahead.